day everyone in this video we'll talk about determining the weighted mean using SPSS once again we'll be making use of this study with the aim of assessing the acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform and we'll be making use of our second statement of the problem that is what is the level of acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform as assessed by this in terms of its usefulness and ease of use so assuming that these are our indicators, we have five indicators for the perceived usefulness and also five indicators for the perceived ease of use. And we're using the four-point rating scale. To do this, again, so if you have an encoded data using Microsoft Excel with the appropriate labels, 2.1 to 2.1 A, B, C, D, E, and 2.2 ABCDE so all you have to copy all you have to do is to copy all this including the header and paste this in SPSS so right click and then paste variable paste with variable names so you'll have this so if you'd like to have better reference say so may change this but for me this is already okay because point as a symbol is not accepted as a variable name is as in SPSS therefore it's removed and also the variable name in SPSS must not start with numbers thus that's why you have the at sign there so let's determine now the mean so in determining the mean we go to analyze descriptive statistics and descriptives once again, since we are dealing with raw data, so the mean or the weighted mean is the same as the mean. So I'll move all of the indicators here. So I'm pressing and holding down control and or shift key for perceived usefulness. So I have five indicators and we'll move or I'll, I'll be moving all these five under variables by clicking this arrow here and then as you can see when I click options here the mean is by default checked so I just have to click OK so you have here the descriptive statistics I'll just be needing the value for the mean so I'll highlight everything here since I'll just be reducing this to two decimal places once again I'll click on uh, the first cell hold and press and hold down shift and then click the last cell here to select all and then right click cell properties and then under format value I'll choose the decimals 2 here to reduce the number of decimal places to 2 and then after this I'll just copy this so I'll, I may do right click and copy or control C and then go to Excel for presentation purposes and then I'll just do right click here and then paste now matching destination formatting so I do not have overall weighted mean here yet so I'll type the formula average open parenthesis and then I'll highlight all this and press enter and then for the verbal interpretation, once again, I'll be making use of this as my reference for the verbal interpretation. I could do this manually for 2.47, so it's under agree, or rather slightly agree. That's 1.76 to 2.5. So I may put in here A as my verbal interpretation, which means, or rather SA, which means slightly agree. And then for... 2.57 so that's under 2.51 to 3.25 so that's agree so I'll may put in here A and 2.48 is SA 2.56 A 2.32 is SA and 2.48 is also SA but if I'd like to come up with a formula here so I may use the nested if function making use of the lower boundaries here or lower limits 3.26 2.51 and 1.76 so when I use the if or using the if function will simply require you to type if 
equal to if open parenthesis click on the first value here greater than equal the first lower limit the, the most or the highest so that's 3.26 comma and its value which is ha so i'll put ha inside double quote because it's text so after that so another comma and if again so i'll click uh, if open parenthesis i'll click 2.47 again greater than equal to the next lower limit so that's 2.51 comma and the value for 2.51 is a so i'll place that inside open close code comma again and another if open parenthesis click on 2.47 again greater than equal to another lower limit 1.76 and comma open close code sa closed comma since there's no more option if the condition is not met so i'll choose or i'll put here the last option which is d and then three close parenthesis or let me just press enter and click on yes and then press enter so you have here the automatic verbal interpretation so i'll put uh, i'll point at the fill handle here at the lower portion lower right double click on this one so i copied i simply copied the formula and then I'll, i can stretch this up to the overall weighted mean and set this to bold and then for the rank so i'll have rank double click on that one click on the first value comma highlight everything excluding overall and then press f4 enter and then click on the result point at the fill handle and double click to copy the formula so we do that also for the perceived ease of use. So analyze, descriptive, this statistics, and descriptives. I'll highlight all this again and then return to the original location. And then I'll use 2.2a, pressing and holding down shift. Click the last one and then click this arrow. That's 2.2a, b, c, d, and e. And then click OK. So this is the result. So I'll double click on this one, highlight this, right click, cell properties, change decimals to 2, copy, and then paste here. And then for the formula for overall weighted mean, since I have the same number of indicators, I may just copy and paste it here. If your indicators are not the same, so you have to manually reset formula and adjust the cell range and then for this one i'll just copy this and then paste and then i'll use the rank function again rank.avg click on the first value comma highlight everything excluding the overall and then press f4 and enter so i'll double click on this one again to copy the formula so once again if you're using the five point Likert scale so you just have to be reminded that the scale that you should be using should be 1.0 to 1.79 for 1 1.80 to 2.59 for 2 2.63.39 for the rating of 3 3.40 to 4.19 and then 4.20 to 5 so assuming that the verbal interpretations here are highly agree agree moderately agree slightly agree and disagree so you could actually make use of the following codes and should you wish to have an automatic computation here so you may just adjust the values here so instead of 3.26 use 4.4.20 instead of 2.51 use 3.40 instead of 1.76 use 2.60 and then right after SA here, which will become MA, you use another if. Now and use 1.80 there, and then the last value will be disagree again. So that's basically it. That's how you that's how to use SPSS when determining the mean, also known as weighted mean for our indicators.